code is clear see that you can see whole example is it visible okay is it visible can you hear me okay so uh, we have seen yesterday some examples on what graphical method of a uh, given data or given expression what is that how we can put a linear equation on a graph now some examples are there where we no need to draw graph but we have to solve those examples with the uh, with forming given data as an expression so here in countries like usa and canada temperature is measured in fahrenheit whereas in countries like india it is measured in celsius here linear equation is already given so we are having a linear equation this is the example from your exercise eight number example it is so the given expression is f is equal to 9.5 into c plus 30 and in the in this question we are having sub questions so the first question is what draw the graph of linear equation Uh, about using Celsius for x-axis and for y-axis. So as the first equation, first question, what you have to do with using this linear equation, you have to form a graph. And we no need to form any linear equation because already they are given. And two variables are what f and c here. See, whenever variables are there, those are not always in x and y. When we are going to take, we can take any variable. But here we have mentioned it as F and C. Now, what they have said in first question, you have to draw a graph using both the set, uh, units of temperature. So, whenever you are drawing a graph, take one unit on x-axis, one unit on y-axis. However, we are going to find the value of x and y as a table to form the graph. We have to do same thing. So, here when you want to form a graph. Take the value for f or c, and then put the value for other value because we are having the expression. So here we have to draw a table for that. We can minimum we can find two values for this. Okay. So uh, but we put the value of c, so we get the value of f here. If I put the value of c as zero, what do we get? You know now how to find the value when one variable value we will take as anything. How we can find the value of another variable? Can anybody tell? See here, we are having this expression. F is equal to nine upon five into C, and here we are taking C as what? Zero plus thirty-two. Means here nine upon five into zero. Zero multiplied by anything is what? Zero itself. So what remains here? We remains only with thirty-two. And therefore, when c is zero, we are having f as what? Thirty. Now we have to choose another value. And I say that whenever we are choosing the value, see that we will be comfortable to solve that expression. So for this, we are having to find nine by five. So we have to take the value of c such that we will get cancelled with this denominator. So whenever you are taking some value there of the c Celsius, take it in multiple of five. So we can start with five also. If you take c as five, now what is the parent here? So five will be get cancelled with five. Five on the side, five on the side. Nine on the nine plus thirty two. And thirty two plus nine is how much? Is forty one. So whenever we are having a value for Celsius as five and five degrees Celsius, we are getting a Fahrenheit temperature as forty five degrees Celsius. So these are the values. With these values, you can form a graph. Can you form the graph? Yes. Can you form the graph? Okay. With this data, form a graph. So we will solve the other examples, other sub examples, which are 
there in the question number 8. So the next one is if the temperature is 30 degree. In that second one, if the temperature is 30 degree, it is upon 30 degree, what is the temperature in Fahrenheit? Whatever we were, they have given 30 degrees. So it is in terms of Celsius. We have to find out what we have to find it in you know, Fahrenheit. So what we can do? We can use a given expression. So right here, given linear equation. What we are having? S is equal to 9 upon 5 into C plus 30. Now, what we have to do? Yes, what we can do? Put the value of Celsius in temperature as 30 degree. So, F take at as it is 9 upon 5 into 30 plus 30. If you put those values, what we will get? 5 will get cancelled with this. 5 in the 5. 5 6 are 30. 6 9 are 54 plus 32. How much? Yes, how much? So, when we are having a temperature in Celsius as 30 degree, it is in Fahrenheit how much? 86 degree. So, this is the answer for the second question. Now, we will see the third one. If the temperature is 95 degree Fahrenheit, what is the temperature in Celsius? So they have given a temperature in Fahrenheit. So given temperature in Fahrenheit is how much? How much it is? 95 degree Fahrenheit. Right? Now when it is a 95 Fahrenheit degree degree Fahrenheit, what we have to find? The temperature in Celsius. So again we are going to use same equation. So take that equation. F is equal to. Who your message is which you the data not as Denominator become a numerator and numerator become a denominator. 
Can we cancel 63 with 9? Yes. How? Yes. So, 9 was the 9, 9 is 7 the 16, B 7 by the? So, here we are having the value of C as 35. 35 degree in Celsius. So, I will write it as 35 degree Celsius. Now, the, uh, we have solved third one. We will see fourth one. If the temperature is 0 degree Celsius, what is the temperature in Fahrenheit? No, 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 Okay, now when we are having a temperature in a Celsius as 0, what? See? Can you see now? Wait, wait, wait. See, this question can you see now? Okay, so in this we have to put a value of Celsius as 0 degree Celsius. So we are taking that as 0 degree Celsius. Put this value in this equation. So F is equal to 9 upon 5 into 0 plus 32. So what it will be? We already solved this equation in the first question. What it will be? 0 into 9 upon 5 is 0. What we remains with? 32 degree Fahrenheit when you put the value of Celsius as 0. So if you do a reverse way, because they are asked when you put the value of Fahrenheit as 0 degree, what it will be? So in the same expression, we have to put that. We are having expression as F is equal to 9 upon 5 C plus 32. Now when we put the value of F as 0, and we want to find the value of C, what we have to do? We have to shift other values on left hand side. So shift 32 on this side will become minus 32. Right? Then what we have to do with 9 upon 5? We have to shift it on other side. It will become pi upon 9 is equal to C. So can we cancel it? We are going to have a multiplication. What it is? 160. Minus 160 upon 9. So whenever we are writing a temperature, can we write it in a fraction? So what we have to do? We have to solve it and we have to write in decimal. So uh, cancel it with 9. We have to take it as 9 with the 9. We have to put minus sign also. What remains? Which remains with 7, 70. So it is 9, 7, 63. Again, we remain with what? You can solve the division now. Here, all 60, we will divide by 9. So, it will be 9 on the 9, we remain with 7. We will get 0 here. 
again 9th heaven ka 16 pe we will remain again with 7 but here we are not having any value so we have to put a decimal we will get again 0 again we are having 7 so what will be the value minus 70.7 will be the value in the celsius are you getting See, if you again put the value of this here as 16b, it will be 0.77. If you write 7, it is also correct. But if multiple times same value will occur, you can take it as 8 also. So this is also a correct value and this is also a correct value. You can write 17.8. Approximate value if they ask, you can write 17.8. Okay? Okay. Now we shall go for the next one. Up to here, are you getting now? No doubts were there. Okay, we will go for the last one. Fifth one in the same question. Okay, as the fifth question, they have asked: Is there a temperature which is numerically the same in both Fahrenheit and Celsius? Is there is any condition when Fahrenheit and Celsius will be the same? They have asked. So what we have to do? Take F is equal to C because they have to say they have said us to uh, see the numerical value for Fahrenheit also and Celsius which we can get as a numerically equal. So when we take F is equal to C, what will be this expression then? Take F is equal to nine upon five. Take the value of C as F plus Thirty. Now what we have to do? Take this on other side. So f nine upon five into nine upon five into f total value we want we want to shift on this side. What we have to do? It will be a minus that. When we are shifting only a fraction value, it will be goes as a reverse way. But when we are shifting a total value, which is a plus, on other side it will be a minus. So it is nine upon five into f, and keep thirty two as it is. Later on, we will take on this side. Now, what we have to do? If we want to add or subtract such values, in which one is a complete value, one is other fraction, what we have to do? We have to take a LCM. Yes. Have to take now. Yes. So here, see, we are having f. Minus nine upon five f. Now for this value we are having five as a denominator, but but for first value we are having two denominators, so we consider it as one. And LCM for one and five is what? One and it is and five and the five. So whatever we are having these values is nothing but the LCM. So we are having LCM as what? Five, right? So five will be the LCM, and whenever we are having some value as the LCM. We have to multiply up to that LCM. So here already five is there. Five into one is five, and one into five is five. So nine ones are nine will be there. So nine f minus for first value it is multiplied by five. Five into f five f. Are you getting? Anybody is having doubt to find the LCM? Okay. So here take thirty two as it is because we are going to find uh, out for LHS side. So five f minus nine f. What we will remain with minus four f upon five is equal to thirty. Now what you have to do? You have to shift now. Yes. What we can do? If you want to shift on this side, what it will be? Take f as it is. We want to shift only four upon five, so it will be five upon four, right? And minus sign will be there. It is actually in denominator, but you can take it as whole minus sign because if any value is having minus sign as denominator, the whole value is considered as negative only. So here, can we cancel these? Yes. So eight is thirty-two, and eight five is thirty. Yes, but it is positive or negative? Minus. Minus. 
because we are having minus here and whenever we are having minus in multiplication 1 minus and 1 plus value we have to write minus sign for the answer so when we are having minus 40 degree temperature then at that time numerically Fahrenheit and Celsius will be what equal okay now we will see the last part of this chapter how we can form a graph which is parallel to axis what happened yeah you have to follow you want to write it okay i will send video for this question but other question you have to solve yourself okay it is quite different so some may get a difficulty by solving so i will solve it okay okay See, uh, whenever you are joining this meeting, join at the time because uh, at the meanwhile time, if I want to get your near screen again and again, it will be the waste of time. Okay. Okay. Now, the next part will be equation of lines parallel to the x-axis or y-axis. Now it is. Now it is visible now. Okay. This is the next heading of the same chapter that is equations of lines parallel to x-axis or a y-axis. Now we have solved many equations in linear equation with two variables. In two variables in the sense we are having x and y variables here as we can consider those variables. So when we are having uh, the equation in the form x is equal to 0 or y is equal to 0. What does it mean? Suppose if I take y is equal to 0. Can you write this expression as an uh, equation in two variables or as a linear equation? Can we write? At the starting of this chapter we have seen when we are having a one variable we can write it as a two variable also. How? We have to write 0 into x plus 1 into y is equal to 0. Now we will in a standard form. See ax plus by is equal to c or ax plus by plus c is the standard form of what? Linear equation in two variable. Now we are having this given expression that is y is equal to 0 actually it is in a one variable but how we can write it as a two variable we will take another variable multiplied with what 0 and 0 into x plus 1 into y is equal to 0 will be the again what linear equation in two variable suppose if i write for x if x is equal to 0 how we can write it as we will take 1 into x plus 0 into y is equal to 0. Have you seen that video when we explained this part? Yes? Are you getting this? Yes ma'am. Okay. So whenever we are having a one variable, we can take another variable multiplied with a 0. So now if you consider x minus 2 is equal to 0. Can we write this expression in two variables? Can you put that? Yes? Can you put that into 
variables. It's easy one. Same we have to do. What we have to do? We have to take one into x plus. We are not having y here. So take it as zero into one and minus two is equal to zero. Now it is in the form of linear equations in two variables. Yes. Yes. Now it is in that form. Now can we form a graph for this equation? Yes. Can we form? Yes. What are the values then? See. We will see how we can find the values here. Now we are having this expression. Okay. If you put the value of x as zero, what is the value of y? Okay. Here we are having a this expression. If you put the value of x as zero, what will the value of y? Okay. In this case, when we are having a second variable as zero, put the values for y first. Then you will get the value of x easily. So that you get what is the uh, meaning of this heading. Okay. Equations of lines parallel to x-axis or y-axis. So if we put y as zero already. Y is multiplied with what? Zero. So if you put again as zero, does this expression get changed? It will be what? X minus two only is equal to zero, and that means what? X is equal to what? Two. Right? Can you see that? See here, when you put a value of y as zero, it is already multiplied with zero. So zero into zero, it is again zero only. And x minus two is equal to zero. We will remain within the next step, and at the end, we will get x is equal to two. So whenever we are taking y as zero, we will get x as two. Now you put the value of y as one. Does it get changed? Yes. See, we are having this expression as x plus zero into y minus two is equal to zero. We are finding the value of x here. When you put the value of y as one. Take that two on that side only. If it will be plus one into zero is what? One into zero is what? Zero. So you are what we remain with again two, is it? Okay. So when we are having one, it is also two. Likewise, whatever values you are going to put as a y, that may be zero, one, two, three, four. We will get it as zero only because it is multiplied with zero. So at any value of y, we are getting value of x as what? Two and therefore our graph is what? Yes, how our graph will be? See, on my axis it is. Yes. It is right us. Okay, we'll continue in the next class. You are having next class, no? Okay. This time.